now tell us the story you you uh, found a guitar uh when you went home for your grandmother's funeral is that right that's the story i've heard yeah so when i graduated high school uh in taylorsville in uh 2001 um my dad was a principal mom's mom stayed at home with my with my me and my brother my whole you know uh, school pretty much school life and uh um Music was never a thought, man. It's, it's wild. I mean, I played sports my entire life. I was on traveling ball teams. We played basketball in the, in the fall, baseball in the summer. So when one was sport was ending, it was time to start the other, and they'd overlap a lot of times. And so I, I never had any time to barely listen to the radio. But when I got in college, um, you know, sports were kind of behind me. I would graduated. I, I didn't play college sports. I just chose really – I honestly just didn't get a big enough offer to really say, okay, I want to do, I want to do college basketball for in four more years. I just went to – I went to K- Kentucky – to, to get a degree. And, and, um, my parents back home were like, you got to go to college. If you want to be successful, you got to get a degree. Uh, we don't want you sitting around the farm. Um, and so we, uh, I went to college in 2001, right? Right. The second of high school, I, I, the second I graduated. Well, I was at UK, um, living on campus, uh, for just a few months and my grandmother back home, uh, passed suddenly. She, she wasn't sick. We was didn't expect her death. And, uh, and so, um, Went home for her funeral, and uh, as we do when we go home for a loved one and for a funeral, you're you're around the family for three or four days. You you attend the funeral. You go to the house. You have you have supper at the house. And while I was at her house, I found an acoustic guitar, and uh, I knew she had an acoustic years and years ago um, because my uncle she bought it from my uncle for Christmas. And so when I found that guitar, um, I just kind of sports was sports was behind me, and it was kind of a newfound hobby. And little did I know, but it changed my life. I was going to say, you went from 19 years old, picking up a guitar, having (laughs) never played before. And I don't know how many years later you're launching a a music career. That's been pretty damn successful. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's, it's been a, it's been a wild ride, man. I, you know, it took me from about 2000, uh, June of 2002 is when I found the acoustic. That's when my grandmother died. I didn't, I didn't really start getting my feet wet playing shows about till about Oh four Oh five. I did play on college campus a couple of times, open mic nights, (laughs) Of course, back then that was a big deal. I look back at those; those were just stepping stones for me to figure out, you know, if I could entertain people, uh, would I get nervous in front of crowds? And so, uh, so you look from about oh two to oh five is really, really the gap it took me to really kind of get this off the ground. That's a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, it was. I, I mean, was, that that's impressive. Yeah, I, but it was like like anything. You pick up something you love to do, you don't stop doing it. You know, you yeah. you find ways to get better. And uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it was just a, the hustle and grind that kept me interested, you know, trying to find gigs, trying to build fans, you know, <laughs> everywhere you went, people wanted to see you play or, you know, if you can make somebody sad day, a happy day, when you brought, when you bring, when you bring that guitar out, start singing, it's just like an instant, it was just like an instant happiness for all my friends, my fans. And, and, uh, those kind of things just kind of kept me going. 